Hi, it's Brent here from the Market Samurai team. One of the biggest challenges that we face as internet marketers is staying on the pulse of what's happening in our niche. Having to go to Google every day and search through potentially thousands of results to work out what is new and what's happening in our niche can be really time consuming and unproductive. But now there's an easy way. In this video you'll discover what are Google Alerts and why are they valuable, how to set up Google Alerts and link them to your Google Reader account, and how to use this information to stay on top of your niche. Google Alerts is a service that helps us to monitor for news and new information about a given topic. The reason Google Alerts is so valuable to us is because it means that we don't have to constantly trawl through the web to look for new information in our niche as it gets published. Instead, we just tell Google Alerts what keywords interest us and any time Google finds something new related to one of our keywords, it sends it to us. The rest of the time, we can just sit back and relax We've got Google as our personal research assistant doing all of the hard work for us. All we need to do is to check our Google Alerts every now and again to see what is new and we get ideas for new content and know exactly what everyone is up to in our niche. To set up Google Alerts, you'll need to go to the Google Alerts website. You can find it at www.google.com forward slash alerts. Once you're here, make sure you're logged into your Google account. This makes it easier to manage your Google Alerts later. If you see the Sign In button up the top right hand corner here, click on it and log into your Google account. Once you're logged in, it's time to create your first Google Alert. Start by taking your main keyword, the keyword that describes your website. Let's take the example Hiking Equipment. Type this keyword into the search term box here and then put quotes around it just like this. Putting your keyword in quotes like this helps you to avoid receiving a lot of potentially irrelevant results inside your Google Alerts and it will focus your Google Alerts to just important results. Once you've done this, click the preview results link to see what information you'll get with your Google Alerts. If you find that a lot of the information that you're receiving here is irrelevant, refine your search term by adding additional words to make it more specific. So for example, if your search term is golf, you might receive Google alerts for golf the sport and for Volkswagen cars that are by the same name. If you wanted to focus on just the sport, you might refine your search term by adding the word clubs, making it golf clubs, or adding the word courses, making it golf courses. Once you see a lot of highly relevant results inside this preview window, it's time to tell Google more about how you want to receive your Google alerts. The next option here on the left hand side is type. This option allows you to focus your alerts on only one type of information being published online if you choose to. There are five different types of alerts. Everything, which is all web content. News, which is content posted to news websites. Blogs, which is content posted to blogs. Videos, which is video content. And discussions, which is content that is posted to forums and discussion boards online. These options allow you to limit your Google Alerts to just one type of information being published online. We want to choose everything for now, but we can come back later and change this if we choose. Next we have how often we want to receive Google Alerts. Now this only affects you if you're going to be receiving your Google Alerts via email. If you're receiving it via RSS in your Google Reader account, then it doesn't affect you but there are three options here for how often you can receive your Google Alerts via email. Those options are as it happens, which is as soon as Google finds something it will let you know about it. Once a day, that means Google will bunch up all of your Google Alerts together and send them to you in one email. And once a week, which is one email a week. Right now, while we're starting out, we want to get the maximum number of alerts as quickly as possible. So let's change this to as it happens. 
Next, how many results should we receive? Well, again, we want to receive the maximum amount of information as quickly as possible, so let's click up to 50 results. Again, we can go back and change these options later to reduce the amount of information we receive, but when we're just starting in a niche, we want as much information on that niche as possible so that we can get a good understanding of our market and as many ideas for new content as possible. Finally, we can choose what format we want to receive our Google Alerts in. There are two options here. We can either receive Google Alerts via email or via Google Reader RSS feeds. I'm going to select Feed here because I want to keep all of my monitoring in one place. Once I'm finished, I click the Create Alert button. Our Google Alert has been created, but there's one last step. We need to connect our Google Alert to our Google Reader account. To do this, we click the View in Google Reader link just here. If it's the first Google Alert that we're setting up, generally Google Reader will automatically subscribe us to that alert. But for future Google Alerts that you create, often you won't automatically be subscribed. If this happens, you'll see a note that says you are not subscribed to this feed yet. If you'd like to automatically receive updates to this feed, you can subscribe now. At that point, you would just click the subscribe button that appears on this page. Now, whenever Google finds something that relates to our keyword, we'll receive a new item in our Google Reader. We can repeat this process for all of our other keywords too, and that way we don't have to constantly trawl through the web looking for new information on those topics too. As soon as something is published for that keyword, we'll get an alert. And this means we can get all of our new ideas for content that we need delivered to us without even lifting a finger. So to recap, in this video we've covered what are Google Alerts and why are they valuable? how to set up Google Alerts and link them to your Google Reader account, and how to use this information to stay on top of your niche. And now it's your turn to set up Google Alerts and start monitoring your niche.